I'm Dr. Brady Barr. As a herpetologist, I've worked with many deadly reptiles. Up till now, I've always had a good understanding of how each animal could kill me using venom, constriction, power, or teeth. This time, I'm going after an animal that's known to be deadly, but how they kill is still debated. The Komodo dragon. I want to try something completely different to investigate the Komodo's hunting style. Something that's never been done before. Mounting a spy camera on a dragon's back. My Komodo cam may just record a dragon catching prey, but first we've got to catch our dragon. Jerry says we can do that without a trap, but I know from previous experience it will not be easy. Out here, Komodos have very little contact with humans. Getting control of this beast will be a dangerous maneuver. Okay. Snaring it is the easy part. Okay. Push it here. Okay. One, two, three. three. Okay. okay, you can get from the behind. To subdue it, I gotta leap on its back. Yeah. You ready? Yes, Owen. I'm ready. Ahead. Yeah, you can grab the head. I've straddled many crocs. But pound for pound, this lizard feels even more powerful. Okay. I need some help. I need some help. I need some help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that thing is strong, stronger than a crocodile. Sit on the shoulder. It won't hurt the animal. Put your hands on, on its eye. Woo! We caught a dragon. Ready? Man, this thing is so powerful. This is a good candidate for our camera. Oh, Man, he's heavy. Uh, right here, right here. This is good. This okay. is good. One, Let's go two, to two, three. three. Big lizard. The camera is not the only equipment the dragon will need to carry. We'll have to mount a radio transmitter as well. This doesn't hurt the animal at all, but it'll allow us to find the dragon whenever we want to. Okay, we got the transmitter on. The dragon is not happy. Let's get this camera on and turn him loose. Okay, we've got a small recording device and a battery, mm -hmm. uh, which is attached to our small spy camera. Mm -hmm. We'll attach it here between the shoulders. The camera will show us what the dragon does. It's a long shot, but if this camera test succeeds, it could give us a Komodo's eye view of a hunt. Okay. All right, we got our spy camera in place, so now we'll see what the lizard sees. As night falls, the time comes to retrieve our Komodo cam. Hopefully, the footage will provide the clues we need. Jerry's receiver will pick up the signal from the transmitter on the Komodo. When we find it, the plan is to retrieve the recording without even restraining the animal. Look, look, big dragon footprints. Maybe that's our animal. He's headed this way. And that's big, that's bigger than my hand. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. We're going in the right direction, we know that. Jerry is picking up the dragon's signal. As the tone gets louder, we know we're getting closer. We're very, very close. We have to be quiet. We do not want to wake this dragon up. But something's wrong. Hey, wait, wait, wait. That's not our dragon. Is that our dragon? The recorder is gone. Box is gone. Is that that's our dragon, right? Yeah, it's not shaking. It must have fallen off. That just makes me ill. The camera and the recording unit are two separate devices. The camera is still mounted tight, but the recording unit has vanished. It's a major disappointment. 